we get home, you're gonna go your way and I'm going mine. I don't ever want to see you again. Jake Harris was once a fearless warrior of the wild Bering Sea. He was the heart and soul of Deadliest Catch at its peak. But beneath the waves of fame and fish, there's a saga of heartache, struggle, and dark secrets. I turn to the street, and, or any, yeah, anything, I guess. The treacherous waters of the Alaskan deep hold more than just crabs. They cradle stories, secrets as deep and turbulent as the sea itself. Mysteries Jake Harris himself might have wished remained submerged. His journey from deckhand to a name etched in maritime lore was no smooth sailing. It was a voyage through storms of personal demons and unforeseen tragedies. The details are as scary as the depths of the Bering Sea, but I'm here to chart this unexplored territory with you. To navigate the depths of a tale so raw, so real, it rivals the harshest of sea storms. Brace yourself for an odyssey more gripping than the fiercest ocean windstorm. You won't believe the revelations that lurk beneath the surface of Jake Harris's life. Imagine stepping into the colossal boots left behind by a legend. That was Jake, alongside his brother Josh, shouldering the weighty legacy of the Cornelia Marie after their father Phil Harris tragically passed away in 2010. An ocean of responsibilities and expectations crashing upon them, wave after daunting wave. Now imagine the daunting task of filling a void left by a father who is not just a parent, but a larger-than-life figure. Phil Harris, a named etched in seafaring history, left a legacy as deep and fathomless as the Bering Sea itself. For Jake and Josh, this was more than inheriting a boat. It was inheriting a legend, a story, a way of life. The sea as we know is unforgiving, its waves mirroring the highs and lows of life itself. Jake steering through these unpredictable tides found himself at a crossroads. The Cornelia Marie, more than just a vessel, was a symbol of his father's dreams, hopes, and unfulfilled journeys. Each expedition they undertook wasn't just a battle against the elements, it was a journey into their own souls. The Bering Sea, known for its ferocious temper and unpredictable nature, reflected the turmoil within Jake. With each cast of the net, each haul of the crab pots, the weight of his father's absence was daunting. As viewers, we saw Jake, the daring deckhand, braving the icy waters, facing nature's wrath. Yet off screen, there was another battle raging, a battle less visible but equally relentless. The struggle of living up to his father's legacy, the pressure of being a Harris on the deadliest waters, it all led to extremely tough times ahead. Jake's tale isn't just about conquering the high seas, it's a deeper, more personal struggle. Grief, like a rogue wave, swept him into the murky depths of drugs and alcohol. His raw, heartfelt confession on Dr. Drew's show in 2011 revealed the extent of his battle with addiction. It started back in his high school days, a freak skateboarding injury leading to an introduction to a dependence to prescription to help with the pain. In front of a national television audience with host Dr. Drew, Jake revealed a vulnerable soul tormented by addiction. His honesty was a beacon in the fog, shedding light on the inner turmoil he faced. A simple addiction had set him on the path fraught with pain and dependency. The revelation on the show was like a storm breaking. Jake, usually seen battling the waves, was now navigating the turbulent waters of his own life. His confession, raw and unfiltered, was a cry for help, an acknowledgement of the demons he wrestled with daily. This moment of vulnerability was a turning point. For years, fans had seen Jake as the resilient deckhand on Deadliest Catch, but now they saw the human side, the struggles that lay beneath the surface. Fast forward to 2019, it was a year that promised new beginnings for Jake. Instead, it would be remembered as the low point of his life. For an encounter that thrust him into the public eye for reasons far from his maritime exploits, a scary incident revealing yet another layer of Jake's complex journey, a high-speed chase, a run-in with the law, a tale so dramatic it seems straight out of a Hollywood script. Hold on tight as the ride is about to get rougher than you can possibly imagine. Okay, are you ready for this one? What started as a quiet night in a serene state park led to an event that left friends, family, and fans alike stunned. You're not going to believe this. After being confronted by a ranger about being in a state park after hours, Jake allegedly refused to cooperate with their instructions and then shockingly ran from the police in his RV. A dangerous chase like you'd expect in a Hollywood action movie soon unfolded on the streets. Jake at the wheel, pushing the gas pedal as if trying to escape not just the police, but his own shadow. The adrenaline charged and heart-pounding chase ended not just with Jake in handcuffs, but with a stunning discovery. Illegal substances hidden away in his motorhome brought to light the severity of Jake's struggles. It was a find that painted a picture far different from the brave fisherman fans knew. Refusing sobriety tests, Jake's actions spoke volumes. It was as if he was standing at the edge of a cliff, the ground crumbling beneath him. Each decision, each refusal, was like a step further into an abyss of despair. These revelations, unraveling like tangled fishing lines, gave a glimpse into the depths of Jake's inner battles. The illegal substances, the chase, the refusal to be tested, they were signs of a man caught in a stormy sea of life, struggling to find his way back to shore. And eventually, there were glimmers of hope. At the end of season 16 of Deadliest Catch, Jake made a surprise appearance alongside his brother Josh. His fans were elated to see him, and there was much hope and a lot of speculation that he might make a full-fledged return on the next season. But unfortunately, his struggles were far from over. Each day for Jake was a battle, not against the elements, but against 
against an internal temper, his addiction pulling him further from the shores of recovery. In the eye of this hurricane stood Jake's family. His brother Josh spoke of newfound stability through family support and a loving relationship. However, there were more very public struggles for Jake to come. In May 2021, Jake's life capsized once again as he was arrested for DUI and driving with a revoked license. This turn of events was like a sudden storm, dark and unexpected, sweeping across the hopeful horizons of Jake's life. It was a harsh reminder that the past can cast long shadows. As Jake's fans grappled with disbelief, questions swirled like whirlpools. What led to that fateful night? Was it a moment of weakness, a lapse in a journey of healing? The details, scarce and shrouded in mystery, only added to the intrigue. The arrest was not just a simple brush with the law. It was a symptom of a deeper struggle, a battle against a relentless tide of past habits and hauntings. As the news of the arrest spread, it sent ripples through the community of Deadliest Catch fans. Some were disappointed, others sympathetic, but all were left wondering what was next for Jake. Well, the good news is that his story was far from over. In 2021, Jake Harris showed up on the spinoff, Deadliest Catch Bloodline. It seemed like he might be making a comeback, not just on TV, but in life. Each appearance was short but meaningful, a sign things were finally changing for the better. Soon, Jake's light truly shined bright as he became a dad to a beautiful daughter, True. He then started a new clothing line that seemed destined for success. Jake was once again full of hope and moving forward in a happier chapter in his life. Jake's fight against life's big storms shows how strong people can be. So as we end this part of Jake's story, we wonder, what's next for him? Sound off in the comments below and let me know what you think.